Hey everybody, it's Mr. Petito, and today we're just going to go over some basic Zoom troubleshooting in the event that you're experiencing some issues or errors when trying to connect to your Zoom classrooms. I'm going to talk about a couple of them, and uh, certainly there might be more than what I'm covering in this video, and in that case, simply just email me. Let's go over some of the basics. Uh, the first thing is we want to make sure that we're signed into Zoom, both in the app as well as online. So here you see that the Zoom app is installed. Um, if the Zoom app is like dark blue and it looks like it's grayed out, like if you try pressing on it, it says cannot open or something of that nature, right? Simply just long press on the icon and then you can attempt to cancel download or delete app. And upon doing so, you'll see that the app will vanish. And then you can go to the self-service app and re-download Zoom. All right. Once Zoom is installed on your device, open up Zoom, and then just make sure you're signing in to Zoom using your Google account. So at the bottom, you'll select sign in. Again at the bottom, choose Google, and then continue, and then you'll sign in with your Google account. Now in some cases, students have reported a 403 forbidden error, like you see here. And I'll talk about how to navigate that in just a minute. Okay, after signing into Zoom, in the app, also make sure you're signing into Zoom in Safari. So again, I'll go to Safari, I'll go to zoom.us, in the top right hand corner, I'll select sign in. Again, sign in with Google at the bottom. Okay, and then you should see that you're signed in. Again, if you have a 403 restriction error here, here's how you go about resolving that. Simply go home, go to settings, Scroll down until you find Safari. At the bottom of this page, choose Advanced. At the top, Website Data. And then search for Zoom. Here you'll find uh, the Zoom record. Then you can just swipe to delete. So this will delete your Zoom uh, website data. After this, you'll have to go back to Zoom and re-sign in. So sign with Google, and again, you'll be signed in. Okay, at this point, you should then be able to be signed into the app as well. So I go to Zoom and go to Google and sign in with my Google account. And if you still get a 403 forbidden error, simply double press the home button on your iPad and swipe the Zoom app to close it. Relaunch Zoom, and you should see that the error goes away and that you'll be signed in. Now, another issue that some students report is that the links don't open from the PowerSchool Learning app. So if I visit the PowerSchool Learning app and visit one of my teacher's home pages, they should have a Zoom link here on the top of their home page. And when selecting it, some students report that the app never opens. All they see is just this page, right? Uh, you will find that the app doesn't open up Zoom links very well. Uh, but if you visit the PowerSchool Learning page in Safari, then they will open. So to show you that, visit the, the page. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a share button. If you select that share button, you can select open in Safari, and then your PowerSchool learning page will open up in the Safari app. Simply sign into Google on the left hand side. And then on your home page, you can click the link and um, you'll be able to take it to your Zoom class that way. As always, you can also visit the MyWAMS Info app where all of your Zoom links are there as well. Okay, the last step for troubleshooting is that some students report when they go to visit the Zoom links that the teacher's session is already in progress. Uh, this means that the teacher started a Zoom session that doesn't match the link that's on their PowerSchool Learning page. In that case, simply email the, the teacher and they can provide you with the correct link for that specific class period. All right, if you have any other questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.